as Christ Church, remembering who we are today. And we move into a season of thanksgiving. We move into a season of gratitude and generosity. Each year the church gathers uh, through the month of November to remember stewardship and how we are called to bring our time, our talent, and our treasure to the community of faith that Christ has made. You'll see in your bulletin today and in each week during November our annual stewardship letter written by our lay leader Scott Susan. You will see a commitment card that reminds us of who we are in Christ. It's not simply a financial commitment card. It's a card that gives us the opportunity to make a commitment in the four primary areas of our life of faith and hope and love in Christ. Personal faith formation. Serving in the life of the church. Reaching out into the community. And the gratitude and generosity of our financial commitments. You'll see on the back side of the stewardship letter are some information and helps as everyone considers supporting the community of faith with their time, their talent, and their treasure. One thing to note that's really important is that the church exists to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. To give you a really strange but telling example of how that works is that the church is a disciple-making factory, a mission-generating factory. And there are fixed costs. You see that pie chart on the back side, you'll see that there are breaking down exactly how St. Andrew spends tithes and offerings. And you'll notice that there are administrative and buildings and grounds expenditures. Those are building the factory. The mission, the care, the worship, the faith formation. That's the discipleship that we create. You'll see in that pie chart that there is room for us to continue to make more disciples. The administrative costs are the same whether one person or a thousand walk through the door. But the capacity to make disciples, to share the gospel, and to transform the world is a greater and greater potential. With every commitment of time, talent, and treasure. And so during this month, in thanksgiving and gratitude, consider being a part of St. Andrew's wonderful missions and ministries. And also make that personal commitment to grow in faith, to serve in the church, to reach the community, and to make a commitment to generosity and gratitude. On November 18th, and November 25th, we will make the opportunity to present our commitments here during worship. Generosity and gratitude is part of identity, who we are, and where Christ is calling us to serve. And so let's prepare our hearts now to make our tithes and offerings.